In a hazardous business such as mine, I have found it useful to keep a photographic record of my activities. This is accomplished by the ingenious use of motion picture cameras placed at strategic locations across the desert. Needless to state, it is scientific work of the most exacting nature. Let us review that last unfortunate episode and see if we can discover where fault may have occurred. So we got a brand new Coyote rocket in the back. The crimp connectors that failed last time have been replaced with a terminal block, so we shouldn't have any problem with that this time. And the goal today is to launch the rocket and recover it two times in a row. We need the thrust coefficient to accurately calculate the nozzle expansion ratio. Is that right? Expansion ratio? Yes. Yeah. We really don't know what we're doing. <laughs> it's just all a big guess, really. <laughs> it's like, you know, you throw a bunch of big words in there and it looks really important. Seriously, it's the nozzle coefficient. No, what? Thrust coefficient. The thrust it's coefficient. actually the integral of the uh, derivative. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, yeah. that too. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Yeah, it went through the cloud. I do too. You know what that sound was? Parachute. The air catching the parachute. I think so. I just have to wait for it to come down through the cloud. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right there, it's almost down. There it is. Okay, so it's okay. I got a reference point by the by the bushes, no? Yeah, it's far away. Looks like we had some problems with the smoke. Um. Maybe the smoke burnt through the body. It's kind of odd. But dude, this thing fell down from like five or six thousand feet. Look at the fins. Yeah. Great. But, I mean, but you think this? That's unbelievable. This is incredible the way it burned. That is not right. Look at the. There's a screw right there. Yeah, that's a, that's the top of the engine. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ow. So then this is not the piston. No, I think the piston's with the parachute. That's just the engine. I, it's weird, but I think. I think the bottom section just burnt through, which the whole, is the whole coupler where the uh, ejection system is, the piston is. It should all be with the. It should all be with the apogee detector and everything. Beautiful. It's That's funny because it just ripped it up. It ripped it up. Let's go find it. All right, all right. Because of all the recent rain, there's a lot of scrub in the desert, so it's really difficult. It could be hiding behind a little piece of bush, and you wouldn't be able to find it. So we're still gonna see if we can find it. For a little bit longer okay so after about two hours of looking alberto finally found it and uh, i've got the truck and i'm on my way to find him and hopefully we'll find the uh the video camera and the apogee detector intact so that's exciting i didn't think we were going to find it that's awesome it feels like indiana jones in this truck <laughs> <laughs> all right so we finally found it and here it is way farther than we thought. There's the nose cone, the parachute, the shock cord, and the piston, which worked perfectly. But it looks like... The body tube. The body tube got ripped off. 
be either ripped off or burnt through or something. So the, the, the ABS tube doesn't withstand the shock? Well, remember how I said how I made those one holes 12 and 22 and a half degrees off? So too many holes? So maybe there were four too many holes and that weakened it. See how it split through here? Yeah. You know how I spotted it? How? I was walking in the straight line and then I turned to the right and I see a white spot. Oh, really? And I said, wow, that could be it. And as I was, you know, but I always, there's always a thought, maybe it's a rock. Yeah, 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 or a piece of garbage. And, I, and as I was getting closer and closer, I said, yeah, that's gotta be it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. When I, was, when I was building it, I had to make new templates because the pipe was thicker. So the templates that I made for the holes that hold the, the bottom section on were, I think, 22 and a half degrees off. So I had to correct it and I put in four more holes that were in the correct location. When the parachute came out, it whipped the rocket around with such a force that it went ahead and broke off at that location. Now, at that location is also the screw at the very top of the engine. So when that happened, the smoke element was burning. When that part broke off, it probably broke open the top of the engine. And that's why the smoke element or the burn damage is on the fin cam. You know, a lot of times you think to yourself, oh, it's just a little change, it's not going to make that big of a difference. Sometimes it doesn't, but a lot of times it does. So in this case, we found a weak spot that next time I have to make a design change to go ahead and um, account for. So hopefully next month will be the month, but we'll try it again.